to tell you this story, I have to take you back to the old Chicago Harbor around the turn of the century. Because you see, where now you see steel and glass in the Chicago River, which was the old harbor, I'd like you to imagine brick and mortar and canvas-laden boats and side-wheel steamers going up and down the Chicago River, painting a picture of commerce, turn of the century. The end of the shipping season quite often was marked by a vessel coming down from the North Country, a three-masted schooner more often than not with a special cargo. In those days, it was the latter part of the heyday of the schooners, about the only cargo that they could uh, really ship on a regular basis was lumber. By October, all the contracts were filled for the lumber, and so they still had six, eight weeks of open water yet. So all around the Great Lakes, there were ship owners and captains that partook in this trade of evergreen trees from the North Country to be sold as Christmas trees. But Herman Schooneman, the captain that would bring his trees to Chicago, he was a little bit different than everybody else because, you see, everybody else sold their trees to merchants who then, in turn, sold their trees to the public, but not Herman. What he did was he sold directly to the public right off the vessel more often than not at the Clark Street Bridge right there in the Chicago River. For 25 years, he brought trees to Chicago. In 1912, on November 23rd, his vessel was last seen, Chicago bound, off of northern Wisconsin, two rivers. There was a life-saving station there. Now we know a little bit about the mindset of Captain Herman in those days preceding the 23rd because there was one survivor and he said Captain Herman wanted to get an especially large shipment this year he had some bills outstanding and so it was the biggest cargo that they had ever had. But this fellow, he was a sailor, and you know sailors will be somewhat superstitious. He saw rats leaving the vessel before she left port. So he declined to make the last voyage of the Ralph Simmons. And there on the 23rd, she was last seen before she disappeared into a snow squall. And the loss of that vessel hit many Chicagoans very hard that year. But where human tragedy befalls us, it provides an opportunity for heroes to step forward, and the hero in this story is none other than Barbara Schoenemann, the captain's wife, because she provided for her family in a most unique way. In 1912, of course, women did not have the right to vote. Most women didn't work outside of the household, and certainly not in a management capacity. And so it's with those thoughts that I sing you this remembrance that I call the Christmas ship. In the time of my life, that recollection often turns. The snow always fell knee deep, the ironwood stoves burned. The ever-present distant sound of jingling sleigh bells combined with the cadence of stock and trade to a wonderful swell The creeping of the days Never cautioned any fear The hours spent on sleds and skates Only slowly disappear When a special day arrived It came but once a year When to the Clark Street Bridge We'd go right down to the pier Oh, Papa, come look Oh, Mama, can you see I've been waiting for so long for this to come to be. Oh, Papa, come look. Oh, Mama, can't you see? 
Here comes the Christmas ship with all the Christmas trees. Now it was the Christmas ship that brought joy to us here. Those trees were grown up in Manistee and brought on down each year. The Simmons was her name, three-masted schooner was her frame. And the winter wild waters of the lake she always overcame. The set of her captain's face and the smile within his eye electrified that Chicago dock and all its passers-by. But especially us kids with the excitement that was there. We'd bring home a tree from the Christmas ship with holiday in the air. Oh, Papa, come look. Oh, Mama, can you see? I've been waiting for so long for this to come to be. Oh, Papa, come look. Oh, Mama, can't you see? Here comes the Christmas ship with all the Christmas trees. And one year it all changed, well as I can recall. I was in the kitchen playing by the stove as the shadows began to fall. A sun warm winter day, no clouds crossed the sky. But the air grew damp, a storm rolled in, and the snow began to fly. Papa came through the door, a sullen look was in his eyes. The weather's been real rough up north, he told me with a sigh. He said, Christmas ship is lost. Then he just sat down. As evening darkened the room that night, a shadow cast over the town. Oh, Papa, don't look. Oh, Mom, I can't see. I've been waiting for so long. Don't tell this to me. Oh, Papa, don't look. Oh, Mom, can't you see? Where is that Christmas ship with all the Christmas trees? Seasons turned in time through spring, summer, and fall. And with most things, my mind forgot that Christmas ship after all. But one early winter's day, like so many times before, I wandered the afternoon hours away, kicking down along the shore. When she came in off the lake, I can still see her now. With the scent of pine and the deep green water gently breaking off her bow And the lady at midship waving to me there on shore And she brought delight to the children's faces for twenty-two years more Oh, Papa, come look. Oh, Mama, can you see? I've been waiting for so long for this to come to be Oh, Papa, come look. Oh, Mama, can't you see? Here comes the Christmas ship with all the Christmas trees.